to you by me, Nostalgia the Pisces, aka Bob. Mm. I don't know if you can see anything, but I think you do stand up tonight. This is gonna be my first time doing stand up on camera. Well, hopefully, back can find somebody who can record it for me off this phone. And uh, yeah, I've been doing stand up for like consistently, I want to say like five, six, seven months between there. I don't know. I need to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing, you know, working on my craft and trying to get better. Cause I love doing this shit. It's fun. <laughs> Get over it. Ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> but it's been a little over a month not to be on my medication. They already on it. If somebody even catches me with my head down, it's oh art and sash and taking medication. I could have been reading the back of my pill box, Uncle Carlos. It's not that serious. <laughs> so but let's just say I go undiagnosed still. And within two, three years later, I completely lose my mind. I lose everything, and now I'm the girl who watched my talking to himself. Basically insane. All I can hear the comments from my family when people ask about me. You know, I don't know what's wrong with Autumn. You know, we tried telling her to get some help, <laughs> but she didn't want it, so there it is. Oh well, that's life. <laughs> she got over it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, any birthdays in here this month? March birthdays? What? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm different. <laughs> well, my birthday was like a week and a half ago. I turned 23. Birthday! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, normally I don't do much of my. Sorry. Mm. No. Happy birthday, Laura. Happy birthday, Laura. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Normally I don't do much on my birthday, but this year I wanted to do something different. So, uh, I got drunk. Yeah! <laughs> For the first time. Oh. And I filmed it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Yep. I'm not going to go into full detail on what happened. <laughs> I just got one question. Why did anybody tell me that was a process? You know, like you actually have to drink. Oh. And you know, I used to like you said, like, like one, two sips, you're already fucked up. No, I have to drink the beer that I bought, and, 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 and it's nasty. So then I look back at my footage, you know, and one minute I was all happy and bubbly, next minute I, I was just off the wall. I just, ooh. And then, according to my family, I was angry. You know, they said I was. Yelling, cursing, and just throwing stuff around. You know, they didn't want to be around me. So I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I should get drunk more often. <laughs> <laughs> I need to some more family jokes, by the way. Um, and then I would love to go hang out and get drunk with my friends, you know, but they're old and have bedtimes. Now, my friends, they're old. Uh, and I, I'll tell you the truth, I need some new friends. Preferably my age, you know. I'm tired of having to worry about somebody with high blood pressure or diabetes. <laughs> I want the friends trying to get fucked up. <laughs> you know, I was like, I want to be the one telling a story about how I was left for dead at a cornfield. <laughs> yes, that's horrible, but it sounds fun. <laughs> and if you look to tell it, you get extra cool points too. <laughs> that, that was cool. 20 years from now, my kids could ask me, Mommy, how come you don't have any friends? 
Me quedo en eso, eh. Te de. De cómo era. I'll be that parent. And also they're married. And I keep seeing this question on social media. Is there married women hang out with single women? I don't know how I feel about that. Now, I, I love my friends dearly, but boy, sometimes I don't like being around the asses. You know, they feel, they, they figure since I don't have much going on in my life, they feel the need to vent. Hush. Oh, birthday mom. It's mom. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> okay, venting is good, but I gotta go. <laughs> Performed this the first time last Thursday. And I think I did okay, man, you know. Just learn my way around this thing, but I love it. The next day. So what's up y'all? Um, it's the next day. And yeah, I am I'm feeling kind of good about last night. You know, I'm I'm getting used to this whole stand up thing and I think I'm doing good for once, you know. I'm finding my resume and finding what's funny. And everything, you know. I think I did okay. I mean, I'll, I'll check the comments. Yeah, I think I did good, but I think I did great actually. So, well, I didn't. I was going to. Um, hush. So, um, about last night, I had five minutes of uh, five minutes to go up and do my material. When I really had six minutes of material, because I didn't get to finish my joke, obviously, as y'all saw it in the clip. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give a big shout-out to my cameraman. I'm going to tag her probably in this one on my Instagram that um, that she recorded for me. So, um, yeah, man, just, I want to keep doing this. And I like making people laugh, you know. Everybody always said I'm funny, but being actually, actually being able to write a joke and then perfecting it to make it structure, you know, that's different, you know. That's, that's, that's like, like the ultimate high. So, uh, alright y'all, one love.